G'day, welcome back to Project Y. So today we're going to be uh, fixing some rust on the car. The rear quarter on it, which you can see in the first video, was really badly rusted. Um, I've got a rust repair panel for it. We're going to try and chuck it in today. Um, we're going to see how far we can get. Um, I'll show you. It's actually pretty fucking bad. Yeah, so it's really badly rusted. Uh, I've got Jack helping today. Um, never welded before. Jack has, but I haven't. We're going to give it a crack. Um, hopefully it goes all right, but yeah, we're going to start cutting into it because we reckon we know what size we want. Uh, we've got to drill out some spot welds and then, yeah, it should be good. So I've been drilling out the spot welds uh, for maybe like 10 minutes. Um, it's just sort of peeling back, which is cool. Yeah, so we're hoping we can sort of peel that back. So then when we, so I'm just drilling straight through the spot welds because we're trying to not drill through them. And then we realized that with the new repair panel, we can just do our own brand new spot welds just in between where the old ones were. Because trying to find that like, I'm just using a cobalt drill bit so without the proper drill bit it's really hard to get the exact spot where it is but yeah it's peeling back all right um it's gone a lot better than we thought it would so I've just got to trim back we've gotten through all the spot welds and it's peeled back fine to just I'm gonna cut there's like a bridging point um between like the sort of the material behind and then the exterior panel that I can't get to the spot weld because it's rusted out, so I'm just going to cut it and then we should be able to cut it out and then just start thinking about welding it, I think. So I'll cut it out. Yeah, so this part of it is sort of super daunting because um, I've never really done anything like this before. So we're just going to cut out the section where the panel can fit in. We've got a line where we're going and I'm just going to cut it out. hope for the best. Fingers crossed. Hopefully it's all right. <laughs> uh, once you've got all this cut, you can cut down and get right in there. Oh, so you, we're not going to retain this. It's on the attack pad. Yeah. <laughs> the first bit off it um so yeah you can probably say it's just like really fucked like badly rusted um it feels really weird just cutting pieces out of the car but um yeah we've found that there's like nothing behind it so i don't have to be as like cautious of like cutting through anything with it um, it's a bit slower with the cut off wheel but it's just a bit more precise i think um but yeah pretty cool a bit of metal. So there's a lot of like rust debris behind it. So I'm just gonna get the like compressor and just blow it all out. Try and clean out some of it. Alrighty, so it's day two. Um, I thought that we could get this done in a day, which Jack thought was pretty dumb, which is fair enough. But um, yeah, so today we're just, 
I'll show you. We've pretty much cleaned up the edge panel that I'm chucking on doesn't quite fit um, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of trimming and it's gonna be a lot of like trial and error till we get it right yeah so we're pretty much just cleaning up the edge with files and then we're gonna try and chuck this on which is gonna be a slow process but I'm keen to get it done Jack's gonna just hold up the panel here and I'm going to get under and we're going to scribe in where we need to cut off that little section that's stopping it from lining up. It's just that bit there. Go! Probably cut off that, I think. And we'll see how it is. Get that rid of that. Did you pass me the paint pen behind you? Yeah, just double check because. Pull it off. So, we go. That's the mirror image. At where are they meeting? Like, what do you mean? Like over here. They don't look the same width. Okay. So I think I've cut off more than I should have. Um, yeah, made it a bit harder than it was meant to be. So maybe not yet, because that's still a thick point. It's meant to sit like that. See if it's also probably worth adding. Um, don't use this video at all as any sort of advice on how to weld panels in. <laughs> this is just learning process, so we don't want to fuck up your car and mine. Let's cut this to match the other side. That's the best reference we've got. The bill will go five mil at a time. Should we cut it or uh, flap disc it? <coughs> um, I'd cut it with a grinder. Well, if we paint the surface and then just sand along here on a with a block, the hard edge of the block will be the thing, won't it? Let's just do that. Absolutely. Good idea. So yeah, what we're going to do is I've just painted it and we're going to get a block and I'll use some like 120 grit or something, something that will like get enough paint off. Um, and then with the block, if we do it on the underside, it should show the exact edge between the two. So that should work. Just let it dry, it's pretty fucking hot today, so hopefully it'll dry pretty quick. But yeah, that's where we're at. I don't think all is lost just yet, but I'm not going to speak too soon. Learning program. I hate you all, YouTube. So, on the actual car, yeah. this section here, is flat, whereas flat. here the curve continues. Yeah, if you look on the other side, that should be flat, whereas it is currently quite curved. Although that is. I wasn't very accurate, so I want to touch it up with a flat, flat disc and get closer or even just a bit of grinder again touch up along here 
Alrighty, so it's day three today. Um, I've got Jack wasn't able to help today, but I yesterday we pretty much finished off with I had to drive about 50 minutes in peak hour traffic to Dandenong to get this specific sort of clamp to weld butt welding sort of clamps. Um, so while I was gone, he pretty much fitted up the whole thing. So that's the kind of clamp. Yeah, so it's called like a butt welding clamp. Um, it gives you like the like exact right amount of space in between the panels to be welding properly. And it gives you really good fitment. So while I was gone, he pretty much was just filing away at the um, quarter panel piece and getting it fitting really well. Um, all that's left to do is I've got to take some material off the bottom there because it's not there's like a it's not sitting perfectly sort of flat there's a bit of a, a drop in it with the angle changes and by taking away some material down the bottom we should be able to sort of open up the face a bit and then flatten out that that joint so then the the sort of shape of its proper and all good so i'll just be filing away at it and then after it's filed and we've got it all good i can just weld it into place um, I've got to make sure I drill the holes in the bottom for the seam welds. But yeah, just going to file away, slowly work at it, and just try and get it fitting like it should be. Alright, so um, I've been working away at it with the file, making like tiny adjustments for the past... It's almost been like four hours. Um, I think it's about as close as it's going to get. Um, I think... It, so, the other side, the panel's meant to sit completely flat at where the joint is. Um, which at the moment it's not doing. It's going to be a matter of making slight adjustments to the butt weld clamps um, just to get it sit, to sit flush because where the clamps are now, where they were within about 20 mil either side was perfectly flat. So I think I'm just going to have to take a lot of time and make a lot of small adjustments. But yeah, it's pretty much done. I won't be able to finish it tonight so we're going to move on to a day four. But uh yeah, I've just got to make sure I drill my holes for my spot welds. I'm going to paint this now just so it can dry overnight. But yeah, hopefully on day four, which will be tomorrow night, I can actually get it in and finished, hopefully. Well, weld it in and then there'll be a bit of body work as well. But yeah, exciting stuff. Alrighty, so it is uh, day <coughs> four. Well, day five, sort of. So what happened was I gave it a crack on uh, the fourth day and I couldn't get it sitting the way I wanted it to and I thought maybe I'd accidentally bent the panel or something when I was drilling the seam welds and then I'd done all this shit and I'd pretty much stuffed it. But I figured out what's happened. So I pretty much took a day off just to um, come in with fresh eyes the next day. So what happened was to use these butt welding hinges you've got to sort of you've got to sort of like balance them or you've got to sort of like <coughs> hold the panel and the hinge and the um, clamp with one hand and then feed it at the back with the other hand so it's sort of a bit of a juggling act um, so what I was doing to help was I was using these I was using those vice grips to hold it in place temporarily. Um, <clears throat> and I think what that was doing was it was warping the whole panel and it was throwing it out of whack. So what I've done this time is I started like I did the first time, which is when I got good fitment on it. Um, and I just juggled it and now it's sitting how I want. So I think I'm just going to weld it in, get it over and done with. Um, yeah, never thought I'd be welding shit into my car. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Just gonna be welding. I think I might just get rid of this dog quickly. Go, 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 go. Fifteen. Alrighty, so I'll show you the welder. Um, <coughs> it's not mine. It's my brother Jack's. Uh, pretty much. Max Mig two hundred I, I guess. Um, he just bought it secondhand. It's just a MIG welder, um, 
I was stuffing around with it the other day. I'm trying to get like nice welds. I think I'm a while off nice welds, but I should be fine with a flap disc. So yeah, I spent a lot of the day sort of doing this, welding on that, which I now regret because that was a good bit of metal I could have used. But yeah, I think I'm gonna just get into it. Just gotta make sure I don't set fire to anything as well. So yeah, uh, I've done the first little bit. Um, I think I'll just time lapse this bit. I might film it with my phone or something because um, it's a bit boring. But yeah, I'm just gonna be adjusting it as I go. Alright, so <clears throat> um, it's all welded in. So it did, there were a lot of holes, um, like pinholes, in between certain welds, which I'm trying to fill now um, and grind back, but it's pretty boring to watch. So, yeah. The reason some of those areas are so built up is because um, that's where I was having blow throughs, and I had to fill it up a bit because the more I was welding, the more it was just blowing through. But yeah, that's all good. That's, um, yeah, I've now got uh, the Instagram running for the YouTube as well. Um, the bio is down below. Um, any sort of like, comment, or subscribe really helps a lot and I appreciate it. But yeah, that's it for this episode of Project Y. I'll see you on the next one. Alrighty, so <clears throat> I've just sat down to edit that video and um, I'm filming this on my phone because I couldn't be bothered getting the camera up and running. But pretty much I'm just going to do a bit of a update, a quick update on what's happening with the car um, and just those welds because they're a bit shocking. I'm aware that they're pretty rotten. Um, first time welding, I think what happened was I got to be carried away with it and I warped the panel really badly. So if you look... Yeah, it's pulled up with weld just because I didn't know what I was doing and I filled it up because I kept getting pinholes in it and that caused the actual V to be exaggerated um, and then that's really bad. So what I'm going to have to do, I posted in a welding page about it and got some uh, feedback on it. I got a lot of feedback on it. Um, <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind it back, assess how bad it is. Most likely I'm just going to hit it with the hammer and dolly and just get it sitting flat uh, and then just fill in the just to make it perfect. Um, other than that, the other sort of update, I've started priming parts of the car. <clears throat> it's more just to see if my body work's actually working. Um, seems to be doing all right. There are some, I'm glad I've been doing it because there are some spots where there are some holes in the body filler and that, but other than that, um, yeah, that's how it's going. Just prepping for paint. Uh, videos might slow down a little bit just because I'm I've run out of how many videos I have. But thanks to everyone who's been watching so far. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. It helps heaps. And uh, follow the Instagram down below. Cheers. I'll catch you next time.